it's your boy King Brandon. Today I'm coming at you with another reaction video, and this time it's to Gabriel Iglesias' five most funniest like uh, stand-up comic uh, bits or whatever, like the little uh, things that he talks about and all that, the jokes. You know, the best five stand-up comic jokes from Gabriel Iglesias. Fluffy. Y'all know that's my favorite comedian. We already reacted to his racist gift basket one. I'ma uh, put that link down in the description below. Y'all can check that out on the channel. Uh, that was lit. Y'all y'all love that video. Y'all put all y'all little racist gift baskets down there. Y'all put all y'all pins up about the video down there. And I loved it because, you know, we had, a, we had a little dialogue. So go check that video out too. Then, then finish watching this one. Because the last one was funny. It was real funny, okay? Now this one... This is five. Should I make this a try not to laugh contest? Like I did the Dave Chappelle one? Should I? I think I am. I'm gonna make this a try not to laugh contest. And, mm, you know what? We, we, mm, last time we had four. This video is 14 minutes. It's longer than the Dave Chappelle one. I say we under three laughs. Under three laughs. Under three laughs. Cause it's five, five jokes. So you know. If I don't laugh at two of them, you know, I'm, I'm decent. If I don't laugh at the first two, the last three might be the funniest one. So I can just hee hee ha ha. So let's get into this reaction video. Gabriel Iglesias, his five best stand-up comic jokes. Let's get it. Yeah. Prank Trevor Noah. Hey, ain't, ain't, hold on. Ain't, ain't Trevor Noah like the dude that, um, he took over like the, um, uh, what's that show called? It's some show on Comedy Central. I think it's like The Daily Show or something like that. But I, I know who they, I know who he is. I didn't know, hold on. Is he a comedian? I thought he was just like, they like, uh, like a, poli a show about politics and all that. But he was just a funny dude. Rolled with Martin and I for, like I said, the last four months. He's a great friend and a funny, funny man. And uh, any of the stories you guys might have heard about us in the past and the practical mm. jokes, they've all been true. Especially I never when heard the guy shows up. <laughs> you know, it's Hello. a cool dude, you guys, but we couldn't wait to have fun with him. So let me tell you a quick story. Y'all gonna prank the newbie. Uh, we were doing a show in a city called Eagle Pass in the state of Texas. Now, uh, that's some Tejanos in the house. What's up? <laughs> I ain't gonna laugh, y'all. I promise you. I'm not gonna laugh. So it's, 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 I'm, I'm just the best. I'm just the best. We're doing a show out in Eagle Pass, Texas. Now, I have a friend of mine named Rick Gutierrez, who's also a comic who was on last season, who lives in San Antonio, Texas, which is about an hour or so away from Eagle Pass. He bought a new car and he drove from Eagle Pass, or I'm sorry, from San Antonio to Eagle Pass to meet up with us for a show that night. After the oh. show was over, he says, hey, Bad you YouTuber. Want to on clock. Bit early sorry. And uh, we'll take my car and you can drive it and the guys can catch up with us tomorrow in the tour bus. So I'm like, cool, let's take off. So I tell Martin and Trevor and the rest of the guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow night. I'm leaving with Rick. So we get in Rick's car and I get to drive. We First off, like, did... did Dude, how do you like? How you how you make all them, them them noises? Like, how do you do that? Like, I need to do that. How you know how you do that? And it's to San Antonio. About 30 minutes into the drive, we start seeing flashing lights on the side of the freeway, and then a big sign that comes up and it says "Immigration Checkpoint Ahead." Uh oh. Don't oh. worry, this story ends differently. Oh, oh, okay. I was. So, anyways, I still get nervous. I was on some other stuff. And I pull up to the line. How? I'm, sitting there and I'm, just, I'm just waiting for the officer to say something that's going to annoy the hell out of me. So I'm just waiting, and here comes the officer. And when he saw me, he said, Oh, Fluffy! Fluffy! And when I heard that, in my mind, I was like, I'm not going ding. to jail. I'm like, ding! So, dude, what are you doing here? I said, well, we have a show tomorrow night in San Antonio. We're just passing through. Where's your tour bus? I said, well, my tour bus is back in Eagle Pass with the other guys. He goes, can we take a picture? I go, what about, you know, cars coming? He goes, there hasn't been a car here in hours. So we get out of the car. We take some pictures with the immigration officer and the dog. You know, <laughs> We get back inside. He says, thank you so much for taking the picture with me. I really appreciate it, man. We're just bored right now. I go, really? You guys are bored? Yeah, we're bored. Shouldn't have told him that. Bus is going to be passing through here in about two hours. You shouldn't have told him that. And it says we have a new guy on the bus who's from South Africa, and he's uh, he's been bragging about his immigration status and how he never has problems with customs or immigration because all of his paperwork is always fluffy. Just saying, you know, <laughs> if you're born. Fluffy, why are you always doing something to these people, man? 
Stop pranking these people. Next morning, you guys, I get a text from Trevor, okay? You see how cool and calm he is. That text sounded mad. I just look at it and it said, you're a dick. <laughs> I couldn't get to Trevor fast enough to hear the story, right? So Martin and I, we pull up to the theater, and uh, we see Trevor. And he already told me in the car, this dude, Trevor's mad. I'm like, I see Trevor, I'm like, Trevor, you okay? And he just went off. Gabriel, it was insanity, I tell you. It was insanity. They pulled me off the... Not gonna laugh. Not gonna laugh. How do you get his voice like that? I got past that one. I, I got past that one. And take care of my family. Woo. I'm all for it. Nah, no problem. Trust me, right now, it's so crazy. They didn't have a better audio. People walking up to me. I'm checking into the hotel. And they already knew me, which is crazy. I go like, oh, hi, I'm checking in. Here's your key, sir. What? Wow. Um, we know it's you, sir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's awesome. I needed that, like, six years ago. I can't laugh, like, right when it started. It's, 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 it's too much. I gotta hold it. Because I missed my flight. Nobody's at the front desk, just a little bell and a sign that said rain for service. So there I am. Ding. Ching, ching. Can I please? Can you teach me how to do that fluffy? Ching, 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 ching. I heard this. I hear a bell. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. Are she's the one ringing that damn bell? What the hell you want? Oh, I'm checking in. She's you smoking out of a job. It's tomorrow. You know I missed my flight. Mm -hmm. Whatever you say. What's going on out there? Girl, you gotta see this. I got a big ass Mexican showing up in his head. Okay. <sighs> What's your name? My name is Gabriel Iglesias. Iglesias. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Okay, e okay. E G L. No, 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 no. It's Iglesias with an I. With an I. But you say Iglesias. You didn't say Iglesias. You say Iglesias. It's Iglesias with an I. Mm -hmm. Whatever you say, it's your damn name, okay? This is Iglesias with an I. Oh, that's bad for you. Oh, that's right here. My grandmama lived to be a hundred years old. Smoking? I never all day did. Well, I guess I can laugh now at the rest of the joke because I already got the one. What's going on out there? Girl, you gotta see this. Nacho Libre is tripping. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is the third of Spanish interview. Oh my god. Place. It feels good to be somewhere for this long. Marty! You know, every day we're going somewhere. Yeah, 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 all the time. Yeah. It's like Vegas was the last stop, right, for the big fight? Yeah, oh yeah, we were there for that fight. Which one? Ay, Dios mío, no. I gotta tell you guys something, though. For me, the most entertaining thing about that fight was uh, was the interviews. The interviews leading Ooh. up to the big fight. You know, especially the ones Which in fight? Spanish. Because the interviews in Spanish, those guys get down. You know what I mean? It's oh, intense. God. The guy comes out. Estamos aquí con ESPN Deportes. Uh, estamos con Canelo. Canelo, please, por favor. He sounds just like the people. I got, I got to not laugh at this one. they would let the guy just do interviews in Spanish. Do not make a guy who does not speak English well do interviews in English. Because in English, he doesn't sound intimidating at all. Hey, we're here with uh, Canelo Alvarez for ESPN Sports. Canelo, can you tell How do you get your voice like that? What's your strategy against Mayweather? Uh...
but not laugh. <laughs> We got through that one. We got through that one. We on the last two. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. We gotta, we get, oh my god. We gotta take a break. We gotta take a break, man. We gotta take a break. Cause I gotta debrief, y'all. I gotta debrief, man. It's the last two jokes. And I got through the first three with one laugh. So if I laugh at these next two, then like, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I won! I won! Didn't I say three laughs? Didn't I say three laughs? I only laughed at one of the first three. So I just gotta, I just, I just, I just gotta do one more, y'all. One more. I gotta get through one more, and I laugh. Let's get into the, 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 you know, the, the second to last one. Drink and drive. Let's get into that one. You're gonna drink, and you are thinking about drinking. Fluffy. Say, you know when you're drunk. You know when you're drunk. You're doing laps in the parking lot and you can't find the exit. Hello? Wow. Wow. Some of you make it out to the streets. You know when you're drunk. You're like, you know. Behind you, you hear. Uh, Set up, stupid. You know, if you hear, if you hear the Bro, magical sound. Bro. One of two things. Bro, bro. 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 Can throw this. Or two. I'm gonna go to jail. Wow. He gave you. What's wrong with you? He gave you. What's... I gotta let you go, babe. I'm gonna go to jail. Tell the kids I love them, man. <laughs> This is hard. If you can make the police laugh, you have a chance. If you do get pulled over for drunk driving, okay, pull over as slowly and as safely as you can. What makes you drunk? How can you? Now, if you know for a fact that you are gonna go to jail, okay, you're already I'm gone. I'm I'm messing with them. Have a little fun. Oh, great man, stick a light. Take off in a high speed pursuit. No, 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 don't don't do that. No, don't do that. I mean, if you're drunk and you know you're gonna go to jail, you know. And you have tinted windows, have a little extra fun. Oh, Take boy. off your seatbelt, jump over to the passenger side, throw your seatbelt back on, and just wait for the cop. Gabriel, what is wrong with you, dude? What do you thought a ghost was driving you? You have no idea how bad you're gonna throw his ass off, you guys. He's gonna come over to the driver's side with a flashlight. Where, where you go? Oh, you're sitting there, dude. He was here a second ago. Gabriel, what's wrong? I don't know where he went. Excuse me? What? Mid drive. Oh, oh no, I'm drunk. Ah. Oh, I didn't laugh. Hello. Hello, I didn't laugh. I just got this one more. Hold on. Nah, I won. I won. I won. Let's see if we can get this with, with just one laugh. This is hard. This is hard. Aficionado here. What can people do to spice up their life? Toys. Sir, hey, come on. You can only go so far with what you got. Hey, you'll be one of your Martin, what you be on, on bro? Transformers. He means like, <laughs> what you, what you <laughs> be on, bro? Relationship looks fairly fresh. It looks like you guys just got together. You're still touching each other, which is really cool. But not everybody's. Uh, not What's everybody going on, to Martin? No, 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 not everybody. everybody not everybody's ready for toys. Oh, but, no, 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 no. But no. but if you are, you know, it doesn't hurt to go to the shop. Like you took me to the sex shop the other day. No, 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 no. I you took him to the sex shop, Gabriel. Yeah, all right. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Mm. Right. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. Tell me you're not dirty like him. Let me tell you guys what happened, okay? I did not take him to a sex shop, okay? The sex shop just happened to be in the same parking lot as this restaurant we went to go eat at, okay? Here's what happened. Mm -hmm. 
we went to go eat at this place. It was amazing. We walk outside, and um, I'm stuck. Martin's stuck, and he goes, hey, look what's next door. And I go, oh, yeah, big deal, dude. Like, you know, it's this place in Dallas, Texas called Condom Sense. Condom Sense? It's an amazing, Sense? catchy name for a, you know, I like place. It. Like that. You know what I mean? Like that. And uh, he goes, let's go check it out. I go, dude, uh, I'm, I'm good, bro. And he goes, man, it's freaking hot. And I go, well, let's get in the car. And the car wouldn't start. We're freaking burning up. So I'm like, I bet you anything there's good AC in that, you know, in that shot. Let's go over there. It was just meant for y'all to go there that day. And I start getting recognized in the window. I'm like, I'm not going in there. Martin goes, come on, go with me. I'm like, oh, great. No go. So we walk inside. And as soon as we walked into this shop, that freaking little sensor at the door, you know, like, in my head, I hear pervert. <laughs> That yeah, wonderful laugh. That was a hoo, you know a hoo. I don't hoo. need anybody taking pictures of me in this type of place. So I tell Martin, hey, bro, I'm out. I'll be outside. And he goes, come on, bro, go with me. I said, dude, man, nah, this is not cool. I will see you <laughs> later. I will wait in the car, even though it's hot. And he sees Martin and I stand in there, and he goes, get in here, you two. Get in here. It's a party. Couples only. I'm like, oh, my God, Martin, he thinks we're Ooh. I said, I'm going outside. And then Martin yells at me. With me, and I'm like, great, he's yelling at me. That makes me the bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't get mad. I'm stuck, no, I'm stuck with this. I can't get mad. I'm sorry. Shot. And I'm not about to start walking up to the, you know, the stuff that's in there next to him so that he can look at it and have the guy think, oh, that's what he's going to use on the big guy. You know oh, my God. Hell no. So I'm like, my what? thing, go do your thing. And K I need to go find some neutral corner to just hang out at. Come on, a neutral and corner. I think it's funny, by the way, bro. When you're looking at toys, he kills me. He doesn't just look at it and go, yeah, I want that. He actually takes the time to grab something, turn it around, take off his glasses, and read what it does, like medication. Over 40 years now. Oh, this one only takes two batteries, right? Wow. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm at this other part of the store where they sell these, uh... I don't even want to call them toys. They're more like tools, Yogi. Like tools? straight up like devices, you know? I saw some stuff in this store, you guys, that I'm like, why would anyone physically try to do that to themselves? You know? Like one thing I saw was from the I don't wanna know. about this high. I don't want to know. And I'm like, why? Who could handle something like that? It didn't even have batteries. It didn't have a cord for the wall. This sucker had a, a string on the side. One of those, you know? <laughs> Ladies, we don't have that. We don't have that. We can't go to the house tonight, babe. You ready? You ready? Hold on. Here we go. <laughs> like one of the funniest people alive like for real like I, I how did I get through that with just two laughs two laughs with just two laughs that took everything every bone every fiber in my body got to laugh because that was funny man I swear, the, the, the travel one was real funny Iglesias one and I I, I, just, I couldn't I couldn't last with that one like I, I really couldn't the, the last one this was funny and then uh golly Drinking and driving, that was, that was I'm, I just, I wanted to laugh, man. I wanted to laugh, but I didn't, because I'm King Brando, and I do it for y'all. I do it for y'all, so I, I, I couldn't laugh, because I let y'all down the last video. Dave Chappelle, man, that, that's, that's a funny dude, too. But this one, I had y'all, I said under three, I think, I think so. If I didn't, I'm going to feel so stupid editing this video. But I, 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 I only got away with two laughs. Two laughs. It's me, Boy King Brando. This, this, I enjoyed this video a lot. If you're new to the channel, three clicks, like, subscribe, post notifications. That if you return to the channel, like it, comment stuff I should talk. Well, I was gonna say talk about, react to, review, whatever. It's me, Boy King Brando. Peace. Yeah. Take me to the truth.